Welcome to the Spotlight Show. I'm your host. My name is Jebez Napoleon Ogbole. I'm very excited, like every week, you know, to be online with you. And I'm glad that today we are able to make it. And we're coming to you from GBKM Studio in the city of Toronto in Canada. And I know we got listeners and um, viewers from all over the world. So I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on your time zone and where you, you know, watching us from. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, this show is always, you know, about, you know, we discuss topics of interest, you know, you know, that affect you and I. And that way we can be informed to be able to make, you know, uh, accurate decisions. So we're going to go ahead. Today's show is very, 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 it's going to be very, very interesting. We actually have a guest, you know. Uh, but before we do that, I must do a quick shout out to all my sponsors, you know. You, people like you, who have always been in support of this show, who watch the video, who share it. So please remember, we're also live on YouTube. If you go to our website, www.gbkm.fm, we are live as well. You can see current shows and past shows. And of course, don't forget, get your smartphone, download the app, GBKM. The app is there on Play Store and, you know, an app. So make sure you download it, set, put on the notification. So whenever we have a live event, you can always be notified. All right, guys. So thank you so much. A uh, quick shout out to all my sponsors, you know, my corporate sponsors that made this possible. First of all, uh, AYE organization. Uh, dot com. So remember, they're on the clubhouse every Saturday, uh, which is uh, 2, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, yeah, Eastern Standard Time. It's probably uh, yeah, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is about, you know, towards 6, 7 p.m. And GMT time and West African time, thanks to Imani's place, shout out, you know, black led, black owned, you know, catering to women who are victims of domestic violence, sex trafficking, etc. Pan African Arts, Culture and Trade Institute, www.pakati.org, thanks, and of course, Daniela Corporation. And special thanks goes to Top Run Consulting, Top Run Consulting, www.topron.ca. You know, you are the leaders in IT training and certification. Whatever you are looking for in terms of IT, information security, business analysis, project management, software testing, they're so numerous, you know analytics and whatnot so please they have a class uh, in person and virtual every city in the world so reach out to them www.topronton.ca and of course where do you get your groceries from do you still drive out to grocery store go to get your groceries from mydunamisfood.com very important guys patronize your own okay because uh, my dynamics food is owned by some young smart africans doing wonderfully well and want to try and support them to make sure you know that this business grow and they're able to deliver your groceries safely at least you know where your food comes from and if you have issues with the grocery being delivered they will come pick it up and do your returns for you. So don't worry, guys. Patronize them. www.mydunamisfood.com What is today's topic? Yes, today's topic is what? The business of movie making in Canada. Are you an entrepreneur who wants to go into movie production in Canada? Do you want to, you know, uh, make a movie in Canada? So we have a special guest on today's episode. I want to bring our special guest virtually. Uh, so we're going to bring our special guest and let's talk about the business of movie making in Canada. You know, how did this start? How can we, how can people be involved? And yes, that's my special guest. So hello, sir. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm, I'm okay. I'm You're good. welcome, sir. So I've not even done the introduction. I've not said your name yet. So sir, I want you to do us the honor. Who are you? What's your name, sir? Oh, okay. My name is Prince James Abifade Ovorame. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a Nigerian Canadian. Um, I just made my uh, a movie that is trending right now, and um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> no, this is, you see, so for everyone watching, uh, you know, I had to bring in James, you know, to this show because this show is all about empowerment and entrepreneurship. And then James, being an independent movie maker, it makes him an entrepreneur. And James, so tell us, why did you decide to make a movie? Why did you decide to go into this business? Is it very lucrative, or just is it just your, your passion? Oh, <laughs> thanks for asking that question. Uh, movie making started from when I was a little boy. I, I was a part of an organization called um, Organization in Africa in Nigeria, then uh, the Koi Lagos. Uh, that's where I started building the passion for, uh, I started having passion for movie. Okay. Um, so when I came to Canada, I went to college. I studied um, broadcasting and film. Oh. And uh, within that line, I saw that 
filmmaking is, is who I am. And being an African, I mm. uh, believe that I can only tell my story. No one can tell my story better than myself. No. And I found the need to, to make movies. Mm. That, that's even before thinking of the game mm. in it, the money you make. Yes, obviously, there's money to be made. But there's this love, unconditional love mm. that I had for movie. That's my own. Mm. I started from from theater, you know, dancing, okay. at the logo, oh, okay. dancing, <laughs> pata, dancing, right. you know, different kind of um, ethnic, uh, cultural stuff. That's mm -hmm. where I built myself, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. So when I came to, to Canada, I'm like, what can I do? Yo. That's the only thing I need that I can do. That's that, who that, I am. So that, that, that you had to you had to take advantage of the opportunity. So oh, of course. Of so course. you just made mention to. about a transition from back home in Africa to Canada. So what do you say? Is it was it easier to make movies back in Africa than in Canada, or is Canada easier because maybe we have more access to more information or infrastructure? What what would you say? Well, well, uh, from my own point of view, um, making movie in Nigeria. It's easy because you can easily get people around okay. to make a movie. Okay. But when you come to quality, mm. Canada has that mm. provisions for you. Okay. It's just for you to tap into those resources that are there. Okay. You know, okay. but the thing is this, you don't just rush into it. Okay. It's like a baby step. Even okay. though you went to college or mm. university to acquire mm. your your discipline mm -hmm. but you still have that that baby step okay i mean you work with somebody that is already doing it okay you know and again most of us mm. like myself mm -hmm. i have to use my own money okay yeah as an independent filmmaker okay yeah, i have a lot of friends that must out their credit card for their first move Wow. So the first movie, nobody will believe in you. Okay. So don't try to, to fool yourself. If you really love what you're doing, you have the conviction in mm -hmm. you that it's who you are. Yes. Hey, uh, Mr. Napoleon, I can't tell you who you are. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. So when you have that conviction, yes. you go about doing that thing that you That know you really you. enjoy. Exactly. Mm. That's how you go about it. It can take, it can, you can use your credit card, you can borrow money, you can mm. whatever, but be focused. Be focused. You know, I like, I like the way you said it, that, you know, some of the, your colleagues that you know in the movie industry, you know, some even had to mass out their own credit card, oh, uh, yeah. etc. Oh, of course. Of because course. no support. So there's somebody watching right now, they could be in, in North America, they could be in Europe or Africa, and they're like, you know, this is something I really want to do. But... James just said some of the challenges is, is as an independent filmmaker, you, you run into cash issues. I don't want to, I don't want to master my credit card. I don't want to go. What would be your, what would be your, you know, your, your, your advice to such people? You said baby steps, but still okay. it involves money. Yes. Okay. That, that, that's a good question. You don't want to master out your, your credit card and all that stuff. Mm. So you need to volunteer. Okay. Now you, you can go on Facebook. And look for um, direct. There are some directors, of, you know, that they, they are looking for crew. Mm. Some of them will only give you incentive, maybe mm. transportation, oh, okay, or food. Oh, okay. You know, don't oh, okay. worry. Go there. Yeah. And learn. Okay. Build. It's about building your network. Mm. You build your network. From there, the mistake that you that you would have made. You you quickly learn it. Mm. Then That's true. you can make a short film. Yeah. That won't cost you nothing. Mm. Mm. You know. Yeah. You can you can get your props from from um from uh, um um uh, um okay from from anywhere from anywhere from anywhere. Yeah. 
most people use their close friends. Okay, okay. So, I mean, the business of movie making seems to be, you know, something that is doable in Canada. Because people we might think, oh, no, you know, maybe Canadian style has to be like Hollywood, etc. But not like, what, based on what you're saying, it doesn't have to be like that. You could start with a small no, movie or something. Start small. Okay. Start small. So, did you get any sort of support for your movies so far from government, from maybe uh, associations, etc.? Or as an independent movie maker, it's just based on your, okay. your own network and... As, as I've said, as I've said, I started with baby step. Okay. I used my own money in my first project. Okay. I was fortunate within the years, I was able to build connections okay. with people that are in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. here in, in Toronto. Yeah. So I know them, they know me. So when I call on them, for help, for support. They, they were fast like this to jump in because they already know me. They know what I'm, I'm uh, they, they know what I'm they doing. They know, well, of course, they, is, these you are know? your industry. So at, the end of, at, at, the, at the end of the day, um, it's all smart. It's all win-win. Okay. Because even some of them didn't even know that they had such potential in them. Oh, okay, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. but as a director, you. You you talk to somebody, you can tell, you can, yo, this person just need, hmm. just need opportunity to show, showcase himself. Oh, okay. You know, and yeah. though I have big stars that came in mm -hmm. too, you know, and um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's interesting. I mean, very soon we're going to go into your portfolio because I know you've done some very good things. You actually have a premiere coming up. You know, before we yeah. go in there, you know, I want to get our audience, you know, where their appetite to see what it takes to get into the business of movie making. You know, so the other thing I'm going to ask you, I mean, you're, you're, you're an immigrant in Canada, you know, you have African descent. So as a black person, do you face any challenge in movie, making these movies? Oh, as, as an African, um, they, in anything in life, mm. there's always a challenge. True. But it depends on who you are. Mm. If you're able to take that challenge to be a motivation or a stepping stone, mm -hmm. you will not see it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I make sense. Yeah, I do. I so, do understand. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm not going to tell anybody that. Oh, it's so hard. It's so this. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell you something. Before a good became something adorable, mm -hmm. it went through hot. Five, climate, yes. To be refined, and at the end of the day, people be like oh, this is good. Wow, I love it. <laughs> but if you ask good, nothing good comes easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you understand? Me? So there's always a price. There's always a price to pay. So Why you going through it? Mm. You begin to see those doors, mm -hmm. those doors opening one after the other. Okay. So by the time you come, by the time you get the yeah. next one. That's you, true. You already yeah, you've already you've already you've already overcome those challenges. You know, this is very interesting, James. We're gonna go on a quick break, yeah. But for our listeners, when we come back on the break, we're gonna talk about you know some of the uh, James' work, you know, and how you can also be able to participate in the um, business of movie making in Canada. We're gonna talk about you know how you're able to get uh, you know maybe p artists, be it local artists, international artists, or what association, etc. So www.mydunamisfood.com and get a taste of home. It'll be like you never.